guys, it's Matt with Tits for Truckers, and they just wanted to tell you, remind you, a lot of times this tubing, I think pretty much all tubing is going to be razor sharp. The way they cut it, the ends of this tubing is razor sharp, so make sure you put your moving blankets on there, on the top. You got these two by threes holding on the, um, the banding. And so what I did over here was I blunted it out with my sledgehammer best I can. All the edges make them nice and smooth so they don't rip my tarp. And another thing is I threw straps over top of these where I could. But the other thing is, see where those two meet? I put this strap close by, made it a little bit loose so I could put that blanket on there. And I got a piece of carpet and mud flap. But uh, I obviously can't do the whole top the amount of two by fours or two by threes that are on there. Can't put carpet on every single one of those. It'll take forever. So just beating them the edges with a two by uh, with a sledgehammer like this really helps out a lot. But make sure you do something because it might not seem like much, but if a two by four is higher than the load. It might poke through your tarp, it might not. And another thing is, you got to know how high your steel tarps are. Mine go up to about here on the four foot drops. Okay, so you need to be able to measure with your body quickly. Or you can use a measuring tape, but I just use my body because it's quick. And so this is right on the border of whether it's steel tarps or lumber tarps. And when it's right on the border, I always go with a lumber tarp. Well, two reasons. I get paid more for a lumber tarp anyway. But, you know, even if there's just a little bit of gap, it, if you run through a bad enough rainstorm, it'll get the product all rusty. But you can see how much uh, edge protection I put on here because these tubing and pipe are no joke when it comes to tarping it. And you can see I got uh, straps over top of all the blankets here to hold them down so they don't move when I tarp it and everything. The other uh, advantage to using a lumber tarp over a steel tarp is, let's say, you know, you got a piece like this. Let's imagine that they're kind of a sharp corner right here. So you can hang it down, hold it back up, and put it over top the product. Or if you got a small rip in your tarp where you got it if you got a low low load with your lumber tarp, you can fold that over and it'll kind of cover up that rip in there or a pinhole or whatever you got. Or like I said, you can fold it over and it, and it makes it a little bit thicker. So those are a couple of advantages. If it's real close, I would just use a lumber tarp. And the, the biggest reason why, if you put the steel tarp on there and it's just this short and you got a real picky customer, they might reject the load or the other thing is if you gotta throw your tarp on there and drape it out and everything just to realize that it's that that short and then you gotta pull it off roll it up and, and put on your lumber tarps might as well just throw on your lumber tarps in the first place so it's mad with tips for truckers make sure you put a lot of edge protection when you're hauling tubing have a great day